Now, the leader of the Ulster Unionist Party has raised concerns over Sinn Féin's failure to give evidence to the inquest into the King's Mills massacre. On Friday, a coroner ruled that the killing of 10 men in 1976 was an overtly sectarian attack carried out by the IRA. Doug Beatty has written to both the Secretary of State and the Justice Minister over Sinn Féin's refusal to engage. Here's our political correspondent, Gareth Gordon. The coroner at the King's Mills inquest criticised both the IRA and Sinn Féin for refusing to engage with the process. The Ulster Unionist leader has now raised the issue with the Secretary of State. The words uh, of the coroner where he said this was sectarian murder perpetrated by the IRA and their political representatives. And their political representatives were Sinn Féin. And Sinn Féin refused to engage with the coroner's court. They refused to engage with the courts. They refused to uphold the oath of their office. Another unionist leader named three men he said were responsible and turned his attention to the Sinn Féin First Minister, Michelle O'Neill. Is there any sign of the minister's partner in government transitioning to be able to condemn IRA murders? We've just had another example of the failure to condemn after the focus on the horrendous King's Mills massacre. Surely that's a, a baby step, but a necessary step for anyone in government. I want to be very, very clear here today. The coroner confirmed what many people knew already. The IRA King's Mill massacre was sectarian. There was never any justification. It was in my view, a war crime. Terrorism was always wrong and there was always an alternative. That was a reference to Michelle O'Neill's claim there had been no alternative to IRA violence in the past. So far, she hasn't commented on the inquest findings, leaving that to others in Sinn Féin. I want to begin by saying I am sorry for the lives lost at King's Mill and for the loss of the O'Dowd and Reavy families, as referred to by Doug Beatty, during that awful time, and for all of the families who have lost loved ones in the conflict. The King's Mill families are entitled to truth and to justice. The families are now demanding a public inquiry. Gareth Gordon, BBC Newsline, Stormont.